Six months ago, uh, in this room, um, we had a gathering at which Mala Ruzika uh, made a very passionate plea for the people who had been killed uh, in wars uh, in Afghanistan and Iraq and, um, and um, she herself became an innocent victim of uh, the war in Iraq which she had worked very hard to, um, to uh, work on in relation to the victims who were left behind who were the innocent victims of the conflict in both Afghanistan and Iraq. It was not a political position uh, and she was extremely, although she was only 28, she was extremely um, deft at uh, working on policy issues in the U.S. Congress to get money for the victims without antagonizing uh, either side. But obviously the U.S. government did not look with favor upon uh, activities such as hers. And the reason being, as Tommy Franks put it, we do not do body counts. But under the Geneva Convention, um, the signatories of the convention are supposed to account for innocent victims and afford uh, aid to them, which uh, the U.S. was not doing until uh, Mahler managed to uh, ask Senator Patrick Leahy uh, to uh, get a bill passed that initially apportioned $10 million for the victims. And uh, actually that amount has since increased. Uh, she was on a road, what is called the most dangerous road in the world, the airport road to Baghdad, when she was following a U.S. and an Australian convoy and there was a suicide attacker who attacked the convoy and she was not with the convoy but uh, uh, in the attack uh, her car was engulfed in flames and she was burned over 90 percent of her body and generally if you're burned over 30 or 40 or 50 percent you don't survive and she died by the time she got to the uh, U.S. Uh, Army Hospital. And the last words to the medic was, that I'm alive. Well, her funeral was uh, last Sunday in uh, Lakeport, California. And um, there are a number of events around the country and around the world. Uh, she knew everyone in Baghdad and in Afghanistan to commemorate her life. And this is really uh, a, a rite for the dead that is being conducted by Gelong and his monks, who are actually based in Karnataka in South India.
In war, innocent civilians should not be hurt. It happens. Now we have to see what you do to help the families that were hurt.